bit short in this regard. It takes up a year. Or and it's duty. On, and it's on, on um, duty? Well, yeah, it's broadcasting. G O G Y. It's okay. You can just use mine. So <laughs> my opinions are good. Yeah, you guys, you guys are the Um, <laughs> well, um, uh, because we have so many of us, um, I was going to use this and pass it around. Seriously? <laughs> A lot of crying. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, yeah. Anything, anything? Yeah, because, I mean, it's it's coming through. Check, check, mic check, one, two, three. Who's mic? Whoa. Not again. <laughs> oh, I can probably, I, I probably have to turn the game, the game sound down then. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything, anything? Anything, anything. Testing, testing, testing. Oh, that's okay. Okay, good. We're we're uh, we've uh, we're on. So, um, oh, we've already got one person in. Um, uh, uh, uh press F R. Uh, hey guys, I hear you guys. Um, have any of y'all um, watched Star Wars? I know <laughs> Chaka Wasabi <laughs> Love and um, Action Glasses did. Um, I'm not much of a movie theater guy, so I'll probably be waiting until the digital downloads are up from like Google Play or whatever. I'm seeing it next week. I will come through the internet for you. Don't even. <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers, Dumbledore dies. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> okay, so um, uh, let's let's get started with the show here. Um, this is Zero's Lab live at the lab for the week of December eighteenth, two thousand fifteen. I am here with the only Aki and I, and he is our guest star for this week. Hey, uh, Chocolate wasabi love. And action glasses is uh, action playing. Glasses, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Rated E for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> the beep beep beep. <laughs> so um, let's let's kick off the show um, with uh, real quick pieces of news because um, it's it's been a really weird week. 
And I think I think weird is an understatement if if you guys agree with me. Sure. Yeah. So um, Sunday morning, uh, they announced that Akuma from uh, from Street Fighter will be joining the Tekken Seven cast. And there's like a story. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's all he's all like black ops. He's supposed to go kill kill like um, Heihachi. Uh, Heihachi because Heihachi drank too much from the devil. Wow. Pretty crazy shit. So. Yeah, drinking that all that devil power. So there was that. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, then Microsoft on Tuesday announced that Tomb Raider uh, would be, or Rise of the Tomb Raider would be arriving to PC on January 29th of Yay. 2016. And actually, that actually ended up getting changed to March. I forget what oh, the new date what? is. That's Are a shame. Uh huh. Why did That's you push shame. back? N- no idea. Honestly, uh, it was kind of fast. Uh, the January thing, anyway, but still. Yeah. Also, yeah. So they changed that. So uh, there's that, and then uh, big announcement on this um, on Tuesday afternoon was uh, the final bits of this uh, Super Smash Brothers 4 DLC. Yeah. So yeah. you got Cloud, you got <laughs> you got Corrin uh, from uh, Fire Emblem Fates, and also Bayonetta. Crazy, <laughs> crazy, so, crazy okay. stuff. Well, yeah. Bayonetta is life. Yeah, it was it was awesome just just seeing all the announcements on that. So that was pretty cool. Um, oh my god! Let's see what do we got here. <laughs> you made a mistake. Um, let's see. Bit. And then of course there was the Hideo Kojima drama that happened for the last couple days. <laughs> um, there was the fact that his non compete expired on the fifteenth, which finally, um, which was I want to say Wednesday, I think, or Tuesday. I can't remember. So there was that, and then there was already um, uh, talk of him going to Sony to negotiate something. And then, literally a day after, oh hey, guess what? He's a part of our team now. Kate, thanks. Yep. Should so. Be I think. Yep. And uh, we'll see what he does. Yeah. So pretty crazy stuff on that front. And um, let's see what else is there. Oh, and then the last big announcement uh, from this week was that. Capcom is working with Valve uh, for bringing Street Fighter V to Steam OS, which is a Linux-powered operating system. This is legitimately huge because um, there's there really First hasn't been Linux fighting game. Probably. Yeah, I want to yeah. say I think so. I don't know. I, I mean, there might be some nobody game that nobody cares about. But... Yeah, but first major label fighting yeah. game, I'd say. Pretty pretty awesome stuff. So. Um, Sorry about that PC port. Yeah. <laughs> And um, uh, for all those who don't know, the beta resumes in about uh, one hour oh. for uh, for Street Fighter V. So if y'all have been chomping at the bit to get on Street Fighter V and have a beta pass in, yeah, check it out in an hour. It'll be up and uh, it'll be up and going again. All right, so let us get to the big, big, big part of uh, this week's show. Um, this will be the final show for this year because of the fact that end of the year is in two weeks. And uh, because of that, we're just not going to have any shows because everyone wants to spend time with their family. So uh, I, th- I thought it would just be better hey, that way. Mom would be mostly eating and gorging out. <laughs> <laughs> Dirt. You're um, so uh, so uh, from the bottom of my heart and likely all of our staff, we thank you if you've been keeping up with us uh, since okay. July. We appreciate you all supporting us. And... Uh, Definitely a big, big thank you to J Revs because um, yes. originally, originally I thought that Chaco Savi Love and Action Glasses would not be able to make it, and that was why I, I did invited him. And then all of a sudden, oh hey, we're available too, guys! Yes, yes. full cast party. That's great. Yeah. yeah. So well, yeah. Thanks for the invite, um, Zero. <laughs> yeah. Weird. <isn't> it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm you get think used about to it. it. <laughs> <laughs> think about it. <laughs> okay, so. Um, uh, about a week ago, me and Aki had, uh, had a good talk about um, Game of the Year picks. So just to let everyone know, uh, the, r- the ground rules for, for our Game of the Year picks was um, three picks for multi-platform uh, games. So games that had releases on Xbox One, PS4, Wii U, and whatever else that it was released on. And then uh, one true ex- exclusive not available to any other platforms. And, um, and at the time... Stuff like uh, stuff like Tomb Raider that's available on one platform, but maybe maybe available next year on another platform would would kind of slip under that technicality. It could go either way, honestly. Yeah. So those those are pretty much our ground rules. So um, I'll start off with mine, and and 
we can we can debate through mine in a little bit here. So uh, for multi platforms, my top game for 2015 was Dying Light. It was a fantastic game. Unfortunately, it came out at the wrong time when everyone was <laughs> sick of zombie games. Everyone was like, "Ugh, great, another zombie game." Ugh. What does this one have to bring to the table? But uh, the parkour was awesome. Just uh, the focus on melee combat, hacking up zombies or smashing their brains out with melee weapons, yeah. fantastic. Developer support was awesome. Yeah, and the developer that. support hasn't stopped either. I mean, it's getting, it's getting a new expansion this February, and with that expansion is going to be a new update that'll update the, the graphics, rebalance the weapons, and a whole bunch of other free stuff that they're throwing in just for free. And and the cool part is uh, they'll make a Game of the Year edition that'll come out in February as well too. So uh, pretty much you can buy the Game of the Year edition for for pretty much sixty bucks. You get all the DLC, the new the new expansion, and the base game all in one package. I might have to pick that up for PC. Yeah, yeah, that goes on sale a lot too. And yeah. the cool part is if you pick it up uh, cheap on on uh, on PC, Xbox One, or PS4, you can actually buy the season pass and you'll get the expansion content right there then and there. Sweet. Because right now GameStop actually has it on sale for twenty bucks, and I think the expansion pass is like either twenty five or thirty bucks. So for forty, forty five bucks, you get everything that the Game of the Year edition will have. Okay. So really good deal if if you can spare the twenty bucks to pick it up now. Yeah. Um, second game, Rock Band Four. It's a party game. It's super fun. Um, it will go into our second segment later, and I'll talk about it then. But um, I won't say any more uh, until we get to that segment. Uh, lastly, Destiny the Taken King. The first five minutes of the game had tons more personality than vanilla year one Destiny did. Mostly because of the fact that they start you off with a story quest and there's a lot of chatter between characters. And the main character that uh, has the most chatter throughout the entire campaign of Taken King is the lovely Nathan Fillion. Who plays Cade Six? Oh, captain, my yeah. captain. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> so, um, those are my multi-platform picks, and so press, uh, press FR says, "Yay, Dying Light!" Mm -hmm. um, I watched that Let's Play. It's a game, and <laughs> thank you for watching when I was playing through that. If you yeah. if you're watching me playing through Dying Light, yes, it's a game about going fast with the voice actor that voices Sonic the Hedgehog as the lead <laughs> character. Yes, <laughs> Roger Craig Smith, also Chris Redfield and Ezio. Okay, so uh, I'll go through my um, uh, my exclusive picks real fast here. Uh, my PS4 pick of the year is Bloodborne. <coughs> super, super pretty game. Very, very macabre artwork. It's moody, it's atmospheric, and unlike Dark Souls where um, you can kind of turtle behind a shield, it focuses on good, on, um, good timing and reactions because um, it's more about fast evasion and parrying. And it straight up tells you, if you read the shield item description, this will not work on most things. Yeah. Because so, they are too big to be are blocked. You dancing? So pretty much, um, it, uh, Bloodborne just kind of just punches you in the face and says, quit turtling. <laughs> so, you did good with a GUD. <laughs> yeah, so um, my Xbox One pick of the year is Rise of the Tomb Raider. I thought that was an awesome game. It, it was a very cinematic experience and tons of fun with just the mechanics overall. Um, the only thing I, I really didn't like about it was the fact that there was an, a very predictable M. Night Shyamalan twist for the end. I called it way in advance. Yeah, I it mean... It kept happening. I mean, it kept happening. Yeah. I don't spoil anything. Though. So, I mean, that's, that's all I'll leave it at. Um, basically, there's an M. Night Shyamalan twist that's very predictable, and you might kind of roll your eyes when you get to it, but I won't spoil it any further than that. So... Thank you. So, um, my Wii U pick of the year, Xenoblade Chronicles X. Elma is my favorite character in this game, and I will fight for her, damn it. Just kidding! Oh my <laughs> god. You ain't there. No, but uh, seriously, it's, it's just a really, really beautiful game on the Wii U. It's super massive. Just huge, huge vistas. Tons of stuff to see. Just fantastic game, and I can't say enough things about it. It's a game, it's a game even though that it takes much from the book of JRPGs. I still find myself coming back every day and at least putting an hour into it. It's just bloody fantastic. That's all I can say. So, um, 3DS pick of the year, uh, Senran Kagura 2 Deep Crimson. If some of y'all want to pick on me in the technicalities, it came out in Japan last year in August. 
We didn't get it localized until this September, so... The monster. <laughs> um, it's, it's a really fun beat-em-up game. The mechanics have been really solidified down. There's less emphasis on air combos, which I didn't like in the first 3DS game, because it was just like, oh... Ground combo, air combo, well, and, and every then, character played pretty much the same. Yeah, yeah, the second one they've actually they've actually rebuilt everything from the ground up, so it every character feels like their own personality. So I thought it was a great game, and then the fact that there's a really good visual novel on it that uh, that makes it really fun to play. So uh, that is my 3DS pick of the year. Lastly, for my PlayStation Vita pick of the um, uh, year, that would be Hyper Dimension Neptunia U Action Unleashed. It is Dynasty Warriors like action with the Neptunia girls, and they're all trying to save game industry. And I mean, it's it's really fun to just kind of uh, pick a mission, play through it, kill a whole bunch of stuff, complete the missions, turn it in, and you know, just kind of wash, rinse, and repeat if you need a quick action fix. Uh, to close out my picks, the most surprising game of the year for this year. I am choosing Heroes of the Storm because um, I normally hate MOBA games. I don't really like League of Legends. I don't really like Dota. I can't stand the fact that there's a, um, a NPC that sells items and you and your meta depends on that. I just don't. I just don't have the time to just read on on the item meta. It's just too crazy for me. Blizzard just strips it down to just the bare bones basics, and then the fact that there's just a lot of team gameplay, and and team play is emphasized, and that, and that's what I really have fun with. It's just a lot of fun just being able to just work together with your team, capture capture objectives, and just rock out on the battlefield and kill dudes. It's super fun. I mean, it, it helps to have uh, familiar characters. Yeah, and I mean, the Blizzard characters uh, helps too. I mean, that's that's really what seals the deal. I mean, being able to have like the dream matchup of of uh, Diablo uh, from the Diablo series going against the uh, three Vikings. Yeah, that's pretty hilarious. Not gonna lie. So, it definitely. Definitely my big surprise pick of the year, and I I thought it was uh, I thought it was just a fantastic PC game. And if you're not into MOBAs and you're like me, definitely check it out. I highly advise it. And um, it's rather cheap too. The microtransactions aren't too bad. They're rather reasonable in my opinion. It's free to play. Yeah. yeah. Microtransactions. Yeah. But all in all, pretty good game. Yeah. Um, who wants to go next with their picks? This this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. All right. All right. <clears throat> All right, Aki. Oh, it's uh, right away. Okay. <clears throat> so multi-platform. Um, I actually had a hard time with this one. There's a bunch of stuff I wanted to say. So instead of that, because it's a huge waste of time and nobody cares what I think, I'm just going to say all three go to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Um, I mean, normally there'd be fighting games in there, but that wasn't, that wasn't a big focus this year. So uh, that game is pretty much awesome. Uh, PlayStation 4, that really didn't have a lot of competition. There was, like, three games that were exclusive. Um, so I went with Bloodborne, because I'm a big fan of Cosmic Horror. I like Dark Souls, kind of, but I like Bloodborne a lot more. Uh, I'm super into that whole aesthetic, honestly. The whole, like, Van Helsing movie thing we had going on there. Um... I put PlayStation 3. I know there's not a ton of exclusives in the U.S. for it this year, and that's fine. Uh, Yakuza 5, it didn't have a lot to fight it, and I mean, technically it came out three years ago in Japan, um, yeah, almost exactly, but there is a chapter in that game that is good enough that it should be a game in and of itself, Pop Idol's own, so <laughs> Xbox One, I actually did not uh, find that Rise of the Tomb Raider was the most fun I had with the Xbox One this year, I have to say, the Rare Replay, and I will defend my point, even though those games are all existing games, that some of them have been tuned up to the point of being entirely different games. Um, I mean, they put HD te textures over every character model in Perfect Dark and gave it dual analog control. I mean, it's, it's great. They did it for a bunch of their games. Um, let's see, for PC, I have to say Undertale. That game frickin' owns. It's probably in my top five games ever. I'm not even shitting you, and there's a lot of other people that feel that way. If you haven't tried it, you will either love or hate it, so I definitely recommend you find out which for yourself. Also, on Undertale, I think it's funny the GameFAQs poll went 
<laughs> bananas. bananas. So, okay, uh, highlights on that. My very favorite salty post that GameFAQs.com made about Undertale being best game of the ever made on their stupid internet popularity contest was uh, definitely... Somebody posted, Super Mario World is one of the best games ever made. You will regret this. <laughs> 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 like, who are they threatening and with what? I don't even... Whatever. Anyway, um, Undertale owns. Well, the Wii U was the hardest pick for me, frankly, because it's just the whole damn console this year. But I'd have to say just in terms of being more significant than the other games I would choose would probably be Splatoon. It is the first game that I've seen in a long time that there really aren't any other games to compare it to. Well, and it, it was like we were, we were talking bef uh, before on the show, just it's just so easy to access, but at the same time, very, very skill-heavy, too. Well, and when, you're, when you've been gaming as long and as frequently as I have, it's really cool to see it. Like, you know, uh, okay, like, there's a lot of games, like... Gears of War, for example, where you could be like, yeah, it's Contra, but it's a cover shooter. You can describe them in terms of other games. You can't really do that with Splatoon. You just have to d talk about Splatoon. Yeah. And it, that's really refreshing. Yeah, and I mean, it, and even if you did compare to to a game, it's an amalgamation of many games. So many. Yeah, Undertale's kind of like that as well, but I don't want to go backwards. <laughs> now, again, because I'm a big, fat, whiny baby, I'm going to pick a game that's already been out for a long time as another Game of the Year pick, Majora's Mask. Um, this one, I, I will also... Oh, this is for 3DS. Yes, sorry. Majora's Mask 3D, and I choose this because they actually put more work into this revision than they did the original Majora's Mask, which had a nine-month delivery uh, development cycle. This game had five years in the works. They were working on it as soon as uh, they finished Ocarina of Time 3D. So, uh... It's almost a different game. There were things that were just insufferable in Majora's Mask that are just way better now. You can skip around whenever you want during the day. You don't speed off of the entire game map somehow every time you're a Goron. It's great. You should, uh, if you liked, if you didn't like Majora's Mask, you should try it. And, uh, I didn't pick anything for the Vita because I don't, haven't touched my Vita in like a year. But, that's hey, okay. That's fair, man. It's not for everybody. Um, that's okay. But most surprising... Um, this one was really tough. Like, I knew I would kind of like Undertale, but I didn't know that I would frickin' love Undertale, so I want to put it. But honestly, I feel like my most surprising title this year is gotta be Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Because I thought it would be total hot garbage, and that game kind of owns. It's yeah. really good. And I mean, it, and it's it's kind of it's kind of funny that you do mention that you thought it was a hot mess of garbage because I mean, Unity last year was horrible. It was a train wreck. It was, and honestly, I would say Assassin's Creed Syndicate, if you're a fan of the series, holds up to Assassin's Creed Two. It's it's that good. Yeah. Um, and I mean, it's and it was kind of funny because the hubris really showed this year with Ubisoft. There wasn't a big ad campaign blitz with like licensed music and, yeah. and just um, they just had the, taken out at Times Square and yeah, I was gonna say they just had the like uh, posters at GameStop that say join the family or whatever yeah yeah it was but, a it was a very humble approach this year and it was just it was just kind of kind of funny and ironic seeing how much of an ad blitz that um, Unity had last year so I won't go on a tangent about how I super hope the Sengoku era rumors are true but I actually kind of look forward to the new Assassin's Creed, and that's something I haven't felt in a long time, so good on uh, Syndicate. Yeah. And good on them for getting rid of that stupid multiplayer that nobody cared about. What a waste of money. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> before we head on to the next uh, the next person, um, who wants to go next? Uh, or does okay. our ghostly audio editor want to join and, and speak from the microphone? Yeah, our audio editor pass, does have picks this you. <laughs> Does it go there? Yeah. It goes there. There you go. Hey. You can just make funny faces for it. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> All right. Oh, we should probably introduce her, actually. Yeah, yeah. Actually, pass it back real quick here. <laughs> actually, I'm, I'm not going to do mine. You guys can do that. Okay. Okay, okay so um, we were going to have um, Chef Tonberry go through her picks for the year, but... Um, she has decided um, on second thoughts on that, so uh, we we will go through her list real quick for her sake. Mine is too short, so can I, I have the honors? Long, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, sure, sure. Long. I mean, I have one for every category, I think. 
Ah, fair mm-hmm. enough. I will just go real quick then, because okay. Nice. So of- let us. Um, uh, I'll have the only Aki go through um, uh, Miss uh, Tonberry's picks. There. Mostly the oh. same as mine. Uh, she had three multi platforms though: The Witcher Three, Mortal Kombat X, and uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider under multi platform, which is fair enough. It is yeah. going to soon be. Um, the most surprising game of the year is listed as Assassin's Creed Six for basically the same reasons as. Creed Chronicles. Chronicles. Oh, was, China, yeah. Uh, I was um, I was pleasantly surprised that they didn't half-ass Eevee. Yeah. Which, legitimate point, because I'm um, when... She's a great character. Well, it was funny, too, that she mentions um, Chronicles, because last year, Unity, you were supposed to be able to play a female a fe- But then they too. cut it out because it was too hard to animate. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so it, we, we thought that was kind of a half-ass excuse. So yeah. Good on them for doing that. PS4 pick is Bloodborne. Um, Xbox One is Scream Ride because who wouldn't want to build a crazy roller coaster? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give that I'll give that a, um, a a fair shake too because it's kind of hilarious when like one of the t- the tutorial missions in the uh, in the demo is like oh make this roller coaster go through a building and you're just like what? <laughs> and lastly, the Wii U pick is Splatoon. So now we go to J Revs. Hey everybody, it's Jay Revs. Um, I have my Game of the Year picks here for PS4. It's Until Dawn. Um, I chose this game because I'm a huge horror buff and it kind of appeals to that campy horror setting. Um, it's a choose your own story and you can definitely change the story depending on how you want to play it. Uh, <laughs> and I mean uh, the fact that the fact that the dialogue, um, even though it is kind of a B movie slasher sort of thing, yeah. the actors actually have the passion that uh, that uh, goes with the characters at the time. Right. And I thought that was really nice. I also thought they had a really clever get around for a problem I thought the game was going to have. When you role play that many characters, a lot of people are just going to default to their own morals and values, and every character is going to be the same. But that game actually lists here's how you can play the character how you want, right. but this is what they would do. Uh-huh. And I liked that. Yeah, and seeing seeing kind of where their morals fall, that was kind of interesting too. Yeah, I mean, it just told a great story, and I'm always down for a good hearing a good story. So it's my game of game of the year for PS4. For uh, Wii U, I picked Xenoblade Chronicles X because it's uh, just a huge, beautiful world. Um, you can customize your main character, and that's pretty rare in a JRPG. Yeah. Um, oh, you forgot the Xbox One pick. Oh, whoops. It. Yeah, I'll get back to that. <laughs> 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 Moving along here. Uh, but yeah, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X. It's a semi-traditional JRPG, but they kind of did a real-time twist on it. Um, it's kind of MMO-like. Yeah, yeah. It is yeah. A little bit. Kind of reminds me of Final Fantasy XII in a way, where you have your party, but you control one character. Um, and you kind of, I guess, strategize on how to be different encounters. Soul yeah. Voice is, uh... <coughs> yeah. 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 So, for Xbox One, um, I chose Rise of the Tomb Raider, which has already been picked several times. <laughs> uh, it just looks like a great game. I actually haven't played this game, but, uh, I just played the 2013 reboot, and it was fantastic. Kind of similar, so it's a good judge for it. Yeah. Um, I've heard they just improved things yeah. tremendously, oh, so... Yeah. So I think that's a pretty solid pick. Uh, for 3DS, I chose Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, <clears throat> mainly because it has great online play. It's a challenging action RPG, uh, pretty customizable, and it's a little bit grindy, but I think the gameplay definitely makes up for that just by how challenging it is, and it definitely takes skill. Um, for PS Vita, I, I chose this one. I haven't played any Vita games at all, but I chose this one because uh, it's it's supposedly a great uh, visual novel. It's called Code Realized Guardians of Rebirth. Uh, <laughs> it's supposed to be fantastically translated and uh, have a, a 
pretty darn good story and likable characters. It's it's actually interesting. It takes place in 1800 steampunk uh, London, uh -huh. and um, at, uh, the main character is a girl who has a very crippling condition where anything she touches literally withers away and dies. Oh wow! Uh, so um, pretty much, um, and she's grown up all her life, kind of locked up in her own house with her dad, and her dad's like, like uh, if there's one thing, or if there's there are several rules I have for you. One, never leave this house. Two, never fall in love. Three, never ever encounter and deal with people. And then he's like, obey these three rules, you'll live an okay life. Okay. And okay. then, and then all <laughs> of a sudden he all disappears, right. uh -huh. and she's kind of left alone in this giant mansion. And then, then she get, uh, then uh, the British army ends up wanting to capture her because they think she's some sort of monster. And then, then um, you've got all the guy main characters trying to trying to win her over, and you're playing. Um, you're playing her and deciding who, who she ends up being paired up with. Oh, female protagonist. That's uh, somewhat rare, An I o guess. Otome. No. Yes. Yeah. A <laughs> Otome. Yeah. Sure. A, a girl's <laughs> novel, basically. But, okay. Um, we're, um, uh, we don't judge here. I mean, I've been playing it on the Vita, and I Gender think it's... binary uh -huh. oppression. Not I know, allowed. Jesus. Right. I play what I want. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So... But yeah, great visual novel, and I'm actually glad to see more of those coming out because um, Access Games, out, I, um, I want to say they also translated another Otome game called um, uh, Nor Nine Bar Commons. Okay. And it's and it's kind of got a high school setting, so kind of cliche, but nice. Uh, more more or less another Otome game, which is nice to see these days. Yeah. So, uh, so my most surprising pick, which has been also said before, Undertale. Yes. Uh, this game just kind of came out of nowhere i hadn't heard of anything of it and then all of a sudden it was everywhere and yeah it really was <laughs> yeah. i had played the demo a little bit last year but that was my only exposure to it uh -huh. as somebody had undertale. recommended it to me as undertale oh. the game with a demo better than most full games which i actually kind of wow. lived up to it nice yeah i mean this game is an rpg at heart traditional rpg but the writing is so clever it's just it makes it amazing indeed and uh mother-esque i guess has some earthbound roots yeah definitely um it's a ten dollar game too so uh, yeah, go pick it up really, you can't go wrong <laughs> yeah uh, that's not bad. um yeah. for multi-platform picks i chose the witcher 3 obviously one of the best games arguably ever made <laughs> it's got it's got a very storied storied history as far as the entire continuum of the series. Yeah, it's based yeah. on a novel series. So. Oh, yeah, it's a Polish novel too. And, and some of the books have actually been translated. Chef Tom Mary owns them. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, I want to say uh, with uh, the Witcher novels. We're just saying you own them. Nice. Uh, yeah, each game continues after another, but they're a story in itself. So if you play the other games, you will have a sense of past characters, but if you pick up Witcher 3 and play it by itself, you're not missing out on a huge amount of story. That's what I was worried about. If I just pick this up and start playing it, do I have to play 1 and 2 first? You don't yeah. have to. Some people have said it's hard to follow, but I've also heard that about Yakuza, and my reply to that is I think maybe they are racist and can't tell characters apart. Uh, <laughs> I I wow. It's really not that hard to tell people apart in Yakuza. They all have different, like, actors and stuff, but I think... I don't think it's super hard to tell people who's who in The Witcher. You have like a character index and everything. Yeah, I think I think Alki's just making fun of people who are very close-minded. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. Um, sorry, go ahead. Oh, that's it. All right. Uh, my second uh, multi-platform pick is Destiny. Um, this game was ragged on a lot in the beginning when it was first released, but it got a new expansion, The Taken King, and it's improved tremendously. Yes you probably will drop a lot of money on this game but apparently it is worth it yeah i mean um, and uh, amazon's actually selling uh, uh destiny of the taken king legendary edition for 40 bucks okay. that includes the base game the first two expansions and the taken king expansion all wrapped under the price of the taken king expansion by itself wow that is an incredible deal yeah so if if you really want to get in on destiny um, now go to amazon and buy a copy it's it's really good at value of forty bucks, and I say this as a year one player mm -hmm. who bought the who bought the digital guardian edition at a hundred bucks, and then uh, had a friend out in El Paso, Texas, who shot me forty bucks and said, "I need friends for Taken King, please." <laughs> and 
I uh, bought that up, and I was just like, okay, hey man, thanks, and then I played, I was like, how much better can it be, and then, my god, there's actual dialogue, I'm actually talking with Nathan Philly, and holy shit, guys, yeah. this is awesome! That's pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, you can just feel the production quality in this game, it's, it's definitely, they put a lot of effort into it, and mm -hmm. uh, the only gripe I have is that it doesn't have a PC release, which hopefully will be coming. It's multi-plat. I don't. Yeah. I mean, it's not impossible. Exactly. I would yeah. probably play this on PC. Yeah. So, um. My third pick for multi-plat is Metal Gear Solid Five. Um, I'm surprised it hasn't been mentioned yet, but <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, great game. Um. I was gonna say stealth or action. I didn't personally yeah. pick it because I didn't put really much time, um, more than probably eight hours into it. I okay. honestly would have, but I totally forgot about that game, and I, <laughs> which is ridiculous because I am a walking Metal Gear encyclopedia. Uh -huh. I apologize. Okay. Well, yeah, so. it's a great game nonetheless. Uh, the last Kojima game, so here's that. Cheers, buddy. Yeah. yeah. That's right. it for me. Miss Chaka Wasabi Love, you good with yours, or uh, good with ones you want to talk about from our picks? Uh, I'll, I'll try my best. Okay. As I stutter. <laughs> well, I'm trying to let Glasses finish his boss fight. <laughs> yeah, you go ahead and do that. Okay. Or, do I need to go in order? Um, whatever. I, just, at, I wrote down. I was going to say, whatever you want to talk about, so. Okay. Um, my pick for the PS4 was definitely, like, yours, the Dying Light. I really really enjoy the gameplay and I'm just a big huge zombie fanatic so watching you play through that and just going through all the struggles you went through was just great yeah I still remember you typing in in the twitch box when I was doing one of the night missions you're like oh, oh my god no I freaked out because it was dark well, the, the power station no it was well just it was any, the the dark, uh, any of the missions in the dark where they're like Oh, you have to get back. Right. Oh, P.S. The sun's setting. Okay. Bye. And you had no choice. You can't sleep at all. It's it's you only have to go through at the nighttime so you can get a feel of the the creatures at night. And I wasn't ready for it because I was dark. I was by myself. I had the PC on, and all of a sudden, just what? I'm like, what is that screaming? What is that? And I just kind of freaked out, and I had to turn on all my lights. I'm like, I don't like this. And I'm then, of course, she's hearing me. Um, I stream on Twitch, going, yeah. And then, like, this isn't cool. This is not good. I can't be by myself. I'm just gonna come over and watch you finish this. <laughs> and I did. <laughs> yeah. It was great. Um, for Xbox One. Just because we just finally finished it and everything just got canceled out. <laughs> Halo 5. Oh, Halo 5 was awesome. Uh, I love the new gameplay where you can do the... Oh, Spartan the Spartan Smash. Slam. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, the Spartan <laughs> Slam feels really good. Especially just laying your shoulder into it, into an enemy. Mm. And you just hear the... <laughs> boom. And you're just like... Dude! <laughs> It's one of my favorite moments. Yeah, because so. I still remember when I when I played it uh, the first day it came out, and you were just like, uh, oh my god, I heard you can slam down on people. And I was like, yes. yeah, I'm about to do that, and then <sighs> killed like three dudes in one strike. It was great. It was and greatness. I remember you in glasses freaked, you're like, damn, holy! Yes. <laughs> oh, Hello if I just made it more awesome. Uh, of course, we finished that finally last night, which was great. Great Rush. feeling. That's why everything else got canceled out. <laughs> yeah. Because I love Halo. And, I mean, as much as people gripe that there's no split-screen multiplayer, mm. um, with just how much action there is, I don't think it would have been a good choice. Yeah, there is a lot. especially. might have stressed the uh, console. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it definitely would have, but um, just having the full screen real estate for how heavy the action was, yeah, it, it definitely was worth it. At first, I wasn't too happy about it, but then after seeing... You have to see everything to play this game. <laughs> There's, There's just a too much. Online co-op uh, campaign, yeah, right? Yeah, that, that was pretty much what, what we is. did. We had the show's Xbox right here mm -hmm. on the table. Glasses was on it, and I was on. I was on my Xbox One for my home TV. Sweet. So, and, and then just, the multiplayer online is also pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah Warzone, Warzone. Warzone is, Warzone is crazy. <laughs> Whoa, it's super crazy. Action. <laughs> this is Action the part glasses where, approved. Yes, this is the part where glasses gets dunked. Okay, so next one is the 3DS. Um, thanks to Zero for like a wonderful birthday gift. Uh, the Dragon Ball Z Budokai. Or um, uh, Extreme Butoden. The Extreme Budokai. 
boot camp. Boot camp. Boot camp. Boot camp. I speak English just fine. It just brought back a lot of memories from back in the days when playing it on like Nintendo. Oh. Man, Final Bow on PlayStation. That was a good game. Yeah, it's kind of like that, but except them, it's kind of it's kind of almost back to the SNES one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and for for gla- uh, for um, uh, no. for Chaco, <laughs> she she had so much fun because she was like, "Oh my God, the voices are in Japanese!" The yeah, voices are oh, in cool. Japanese. I was in love. Yeah, and she was just like memories. <laughs> I pulled off the comic comic before she did. Oh no, <laughs> no, um, we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> we are not going to talk about that. You just made a Pac-Man face while you were laughing. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> what was worse that happened while while stuck in traffic? And I was like, no, you're not supposed to do that without me. Doing but yeah, it, it was it was a really well made game, and mm-hmm. uh, coincidentally, Arc System Works was uh, was um, uh, making the actual game. So if you're a fan of Guilty Gear and Blaze Blue, it's very very solid. Oh, yes. Really? Yeah, yeah it's it's play, huh? it's a great gameplay, and the best part is the price. It's thirty dollars. Oh, nice! You can fight in the air too. It's awesome. Yeah, so you can you, know, you can do ground combos. Bam! Launch them, mm-hmm. follow them in the air, mm-hmm. resume your combo. Just like the anime, it's it's fantastic. I definitely need more 3DS games. Oh, yeah, yeah that's definitely a good one to pick up if yeah. you like and at the, the Dragon of, Ball Z series. At the price of thirty dollars, it's it's a bargain. Mm-hmm. If you if you grew up with Dragon Ball Z as a kid, yeah, this is like. I think from the beginning of Dragon Ball Z all the way to the um, uh, uh, Resurrection F movies. Mm. So it spans a lot of history and it gets you up to current to the current movie too. Wow. So yeah, if you're a big Dragon Ball fan, yeah, definitely an awesome pick. And uh, no spoilers, but yeah, Krillin is still not that good in the game. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry, I I had to throw a little bit of salt out there. That post killed Krillin. Oh, Oh. And, um, <laughs> and kind of on a side note on that, um, uh, uh, the actor for Kr- uh, the voice actor for Krillin is actually local to mm. to our uh, to our city. So you watch us? yeah, he's a really cool I don't dude. Think so man, what, yeah, Plano or Dallas? Um, right? Dallas, Dallas, because okay. of uh, what Funimation? Funimation? Yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. So there's that. Um, go on, go okay, on. Okay, where am I? Where am I? Okay, PC, hot to full boyfriend. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, uh... That's on a bunch of stuff now. Since I haven't played PC games since, um... Why did my brain... My brain just went totally blank. Quake. This is Quake 3. And uh, Unreal Tournament, I haven't really played any PC games. So, playing Left 4 Dead with you guys was awesome. Yeah. And eye-opening that, oh my gosh, I need to play more. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm familiar Some with a lot of maps. PC, you gotta yes, know. well, I had no choice. <laughs> I had no choice. I got I got this nice package deal where I got all the maps, and I'm like, no, I gotta play them now on PC. Man, glasses, a legendary engram. Nice. Wow, good stuff, man. And dancing. And dance. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Deer skull mask and and just and just getting down on it. <laughs> Creepy character. <laughs> <laughs> but do you have the Galahorn? Galahorn is obsolete. Is it? Yeah. Yes, it is. Well, there you go. I've, they have, I've, they I've have dick punched that thing to oblivion. <laughs> oh, okay. So, uh, where's the next one? We, you. I'm sorry. Oh, God. He's got to identify what the nice engram is. I'm not even Smash. Sure. For nice. Wii U? Wii U. Smash. That was last year. Still a good game. It's still a good game. game. Yeah. I still play many parties this year. Yeah, we're gonna fight again. Peach we're gonna fight over. again. Over three DS that wait, is. <laughs> until I'm reborn. January two thousand sixteen. I was gonna say I'm gonna kill you off. at the same time. Go I was gonna over. say <laughs> I was gonna say watch just as Chaco's gonna uh, start talking to some evil gods and they'll be like, Oh you want smash powers, do you? <laughs> and she'll be like, Give <laughs> Well, you can download Cloud, so I'm like, oh man, yeah. it's on now. <laughs> I don't care about the other characters, I need to get Cloud, though. Right? Yes. Cloud's all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not till February. I know. But man, February's gonna be here fast. Sure. Tell you what. Just wait for which time. No, I was gonna say, um, uh, I, I don't know if y'all got the joke um, when I kind of um, uh, remixed regular Cars quote. Uh, wing a ding 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 a witch time. Yes, pretty 
Because yeah, I can just see Aki just trolling people with that. Yes. I don't know what just happened. Oh my god. <laughs> I know. I'm trying to watch classes do all this menu stuff. Yep. Pizza. Okay. Okay. So. <coughs> Where's your multi- middle thing? Multi-platform. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, Tomb Raider. Nice. Because I just I. I saw the preview for Rise of the um, blah, Rise of the Tomb Rise Raider. of the Tomb Raider, and I was like, "What is this?" And I found out I forgot I had the original, one. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't download it on my Xbox. So finally downloaded it, started playing. I'm like, "Why didn't I play this sooner?" But that's also a surprise game, because I never played the uh, Quick Time. I have never played Quick Time. Oh, the Quick Time events. And <laughs> oh stuff? yeah, that was a shock. I died a lot. It's like a different kind of challenge. It is, because I wasn't ready, and I was like, I'm falling, I'm falling. She wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Whoa. No. <laughs> and I died a lot. A whole lot. But it is really great. I really like the Tomb Raider series, and just that different kind of gameplay for Tomb Raider was an, was great. Nice. Um, so I'm looking actually, forward to playing Rise of the uh, We got some folks in the chat, so. Oh, hi. Um, some new Lara for life. Hi. Um, uh, so... Um, uh, Johan Swag says Johan. Minecraft uh, on the Wii though. Um, I would oh, say I would say Minecraft would have gotten a mention, but unfortunately they None of had. No, that's playing. Well, no, no. I would try it. Well, though. no, no. Here's the thing: um, the Wii U is supposed to have the second screen functionality where you can manage your inventory from the Wii U screen. Oh. They cut that out. Oh. So I was just like, boo, lazy. Yeah. So. That's why um, uh, Minecraft for Wii U did not get a mention because yeah, yeah they went totally lazy on that, which was not cool. That plus I like Splatoon better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, Yoshi's Wo- uh, Press FR says, uh, "How about uh, Yoshi's Woolly World on, um, on Wii U?" That game is dope. And Chef says, "I don't know anyone here that plays Minecraft, and Yoshi's Woolly World is good too." And yeah, it, uh, Woolly World is really fun. It's mm. just just um, fun, silly antics. And uh, the fact that uh, the amiibos have some functionality in there is kind of neat, especially if you put a, a non-Yoshi amiibo, you'll get non-Yoshi. a theme. You'll get you'll get a, a Yoshi that's themed up like that character. So like that if was you, a Yoshi. Yeah. So like if you scan a Samus one, then the Yoshi that spawns in will actually have Samus's colors. That's pretty. Cool. Really? Yeah. That sounds cool. Yeah. So you oh, said yes. uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider is one of your multiplayer pick or Mortal multi-platform Kombat picks. Mortal Kombat, just because it's like very beautifully done. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the finishers are <laughs> quite quite oh. interesting. <laughs> That's all I can say. I was a little disappointed though with um, Jason. Yeah, it was <laughs> Jason's Jason's fatality in Mortal Kombat X was a little disappointing. Yeah, being a big yeah. horror movie I feel fan, like I was a little was kind sad. Of disappointing in Mortal Kombat. A X. little bit. Yeah. yeah. But now we have Predator and Xenomorph. Yes, and I need to try Predator. Predator. I like Predator a lot. Oh, how did I, like, I miss this moment? I really like that game. <laughs> and no bug lady. <laughs> no Devora. Call of <laughs> Call of Duty. Call of Duty for she said duty. duty. I was surprising. I'm actually oh, doing that a lot more than I thought. <laughs> Why is it needing an email now? I'm Jesus. From her account. She wants Amazon. I'm okay. gonna try it again. Okay, my last one that surprised me. Uh, yes. Surprised. Surprised. Yes. I can't speak English. Surprised. Surprised me the most um, is Destiny. I enjoyed it so much, a lot more than I thought I would. That I'm about to play it right now. So. <laughs> Yeah, um, uh, it was just kind of funny because we ha- actually had you play it as a fresh year two player without all the year one drama that most of us went through. Yeah. I know Glasses knows. He knows the struggle. The pain? <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of pain. <laughs> so, yeah, there, there's definitely that, but... Um, I only know the pain. I never went to year two. You only know the pain. <laughs> nice. Oh, jeez. Text messages. I sound like mm-hmm. a check mark. And those are my picks. I hope you enjoyed my picks. <laughs> Yeah, yes. I mean, it pretty much went in line with most uh, most of ours. Mm, I don't have a Vita, so I can't contribute to that. Yeah, so Loco, that's, that's but fine. That was sold. <laughs> well, um, uh, uh, I know that you you travel a lot and you're pretty busy with your like your normal day stuff anyway. Mm. So um, that was why, like, for your presents um, for Christmas and your birthday, I just concentrate on 3DS because I yes. figured something that you can play real fast and then stop would probably work better for you. And my Smash will get better. There are <laughs> four to a shit. Oh, I mean, there are good. 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 There are good. 
Vita games, I'm not saying they're not, but I legitimately feel like the best Vita game is PS1 Classics. Just period. I love oh, yeah. portable uh, PS1 Classics. Nice. It is really fun. Okay. So, um, let's passing, pass it on to Glasses. Passing so. the throne on to you, Glasses. That's the moment y'all have been waiting for, or of course, every day, all day. 365 <laughs> days of the year. I'm just kidding. I actually... <laughs> I haven't played that many games this year. Oh. Yeah, this year, mostly due to school. So I've been kind of just casually playing different different things. Um, I would have to say... I, I have played the newer games. So I do have like a little snippets here and there. I have two friends. I get <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> two friends. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, multi-platform wise I'd have to go with Destiny Battlefront and Mortal Kombat now Destiny I played since vanilla uh, it was fun at first then it got, oh, got relatively it. boring there was really nothing to do um, my buddy over here zero was like hey I have a free taken King code I'm gonna throw it to you try it out it's a lot of fun so I was like okay you know I'll give it another chance tried it out I was really impressed with the game. Uh, still playing it to this uh, to this day. I mean, you know, it's only been out for what? Not very long. Uh, since September. Since September. Oh, wow. mm. Since September. So I've been been playing since September. The Taken King. It's still fun. Yeah, and I thought it was um, funny because um, when I got the show's PS4 that came with the Taken King code, um, after playing it, you're just like, "Hey, can I borrow the show's PS4 and take this home?" I did. <laughs> I did. I did borrow it. Was it worth it? It was. Nice. It was. It was. Um, I also, I finally got my own PS4. I got the special edition Star Wars with the Darth Vader uh, gloss over. It's pretty. It's pretty dope. I got Battlefront. Battlefront is fun to an extent. To an. <laughs> ex <laughs> it's still really fun, but only if you're playing with multiple people. If you're just playing by yourself, it's like playing Call of Duty. You play it to a certain point and then you just kind of get tired of it and then there's not really much else to do if you're playing with people you know you can you can uh bullshit and just do a lot of fun antics and of course also also multi-platform is mortal kombat they also always hold a special place in my heart because it is one of the easiest fighting games to <laughs> to learn <laughs> and i'm not good at fighting games well, despite frank, my name this new one is probably one of no let's be frank it's the best one it is the best one yeah. it it yeah it really is for ps4 uh really even though it's the only console i own and i haven't played too much of it but i did enjoy bloodborne bloodborne was a lot of fun uh, when i did play it at zero's house i no terrible at it but <laughs> and i don't have their pa attack patterns down yet but the the story is really good i do like that medieval really dark fantasy setting it's i'm a huge fan of uh, dark gothic dark gothic thing. sort of oh, things oh, oh. um yeah. castlevania's fun castlevania's yeah. always fun even though it's not it's also multi-platform i've only played it on the ps4 I think it's all. No, it's uh, only PS4. Only PS4. Well, yeah. No, I'm talking about uh, MSG, MGS. Oh, Metal Gear Solid 5. Yeah, yeah. that's multiplayer. Uh, uh, yeah. huh? no, I'm just tapping you, sorry. Um, <laughs> Metal Gear. Metal Gear is a lot of fun. Uh, I borrowed, <laughs> borrowed it from Zero and I had a lot of fun with it. I, <laughs> I, I don't really take it seriously, mostly in a sense that I, you get to fuck around a lot, like sliding bo through boxes <clears throat> and. You slid down a hill in box. Oh, oh yeah, it's amazing. Sit, slid down a hill. Yeah, you can what? go sliding in boxes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then jump right out, do some CQC. Ah. It's great. Like um, surprise! DD D is the best video game. DD DD is the best video game dog. Sorry, Fallout boys. It's dog meat. No, dog meat no. sucks. In dog meat is dog meat is yeah. No. Even the old ones, he's bad. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Pretty terrible stuff. <laughs> <laughs> pretty terrible stuff. So, DD was, was pretty awesome. Xbox One. I don't have an Xbox One. I haven't really played many games. I've played a lot of games off of it. Uh, thanks to Zero. But mo but I was going to go to Halo. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Aki, no problem. We'll, we'll fight later. IRL. Homeboy. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, anyways. Halo oh 5. God, down. Halo 5. Me and Zero actually did a LAN party for that. Uh, Chaco was there as well. We had a lot of fun. Mm. Finished it last night. 
A lot of epic deaths. A lot of epic... <laughs> and epic We're saves, died. too. Epic saves. Epic saves. Especially, like, sliding, sliding, going, I got you, and then just sliding <laughs> to the corpse and then reviving. It, there was some action movie moments. <laughs> action approved. Again. Well, yeah, and, and it was cool when we were playing Blue Team, because you were playing Master Chief, John 117, just Always. going up close, blowing up dudes, and I was playing... Uh, Linda. Uh, Linda 5-2, and I was uh, hanging back, just sniping dudes, dropping their shields, and you're just like, oh, um, hey, Elite, did you have a nice shield? Bam! That's what I Now you don't. How do I fight? Um, You'll need to hit the... Had a lot of fun with it. Oh. I'm a, and then hit not a huge multiplayer person. I do like Hold it. multiplayer shooters and uh, RPGs, MMOs, whatever you want to call them. But Halo 5 actually brought me back to the old Battlefield days. You know, uh, was it Arena? Warzone. Warzone. I'm Warzone, sorry. Yeah. Warzone. And you driving vehicles, huge maps, taking over bases, killing each other. And typical Halo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, it was like old school Halo. It was old school. <laughs> old school Halo, but huge maps. And it, it was a lot of fun. Um, going to 3DS, Super Smash Brothers. Uh, it was really the only game I play on there. Um, <laughs> all the other games I have are not of this year, so I can't really nominate them. But Super Smash Brothers is a lot of fun. Uh, J Revs is a my rival. We'll just, we'll just <laughs> stick with that. I was gonna we'll say, I'm surprised you didn't that. call him a hose beast. <laughs> so I've been learning. He's pro let's just let's just so say let's just say he's a liar. Let's just say he's he's a huge liar. He's a huge liar. I'm not very good at the game, but you know, I, ca I play casually online, no problem. Mm -hmm. For next fun, thing, for glory. Basically, next thing you know, I have lost all my lives, and he has not lost a single not life. Not one. Oh, Even so, tag teaming. Like so, anyways, <laughs> uh, Dragon Ball Z, Budokan was fun. I played it on Chacos. I learned all the special moves before she did. Mm -mm. Just action you approved. Every <laughs> action approved. Yeah, I, need um, to now. I even Krillin too. Even Krillin. I even did his destructo disc. Like, like yeah. Uh, Ooh, I hope I don't die. So uh, I was surprised by Halo Five. Uh, most surprising because I do like the Halo series, but I felt like they were gradually getting worse. You didn't, have, you didn't expect to like this one I that much. I didn't expect to like this one as much because Halo Four, it was cool, but it, the plot seemed like recycled. Like it happened in a previous game that I played. And it just it was very forgettable, and there wasn't much plot to it to me, anyways. Don't 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 find me and kill me, please. But. <laughs> <laughs> Halo Five, oh, Halo Five was pretty refreshing to play because all the after Halo Three, basically, I wasn't too impressed with it. It was like Assassin's Creed almost. I was just gonna say. It was like Assassin's Creed, Call of Duty. You know, just it's it comes out every other year, and it's just oh, like another game, fun. But that's pretty much all I have. I haven't played that many uh, RPGs, sadly. I did try the Final Fantasy Fifteen demo. That's pretty cool. And that was a lot of fun. You got yeah. in on the 2-0 patch. You didn't see it when it was in the I heard, auto. Yeah, I was going to say, I heard they fixed a lot. It was a little rough when I played it. That's Oh, I did I did watch uh, you play at Zero. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the one point when you first got it. Uh, that did seem kind of rough watching it. But yeah, it, it seems a lot more polished. Well, I'm pretty yeah. impressed with what they did with it. It kind of reminded me of Kingdom Hearts, but more, sort of, somewhat more adult. Um... Then Kingdom Hearts was just, you know, really cartoony. Yeah, and it's kind of funny because um, I've said this before cool. about the um, about kind of the premise of Final Fantasy XV. It's like it's like um, a, it's like a um, it's like a boy band goes on a uh, goes on tour. It's it really a mystery is. boy band. It really yes, is. yes, yeah, exactly that. Pretty much. <laughs> Jinkies, boys. Oh, I really like uh, what is his name? Gladio. Something? Gladio. Gladio. He's guns. The guns, guns. That guy? No, no, the big, huge sword guy. Big, yeah, huge sword guy. Yeah, that's Gladio, isn't it? Gladio. The yeah. guns is the, the really skinny... No, not the gun. The guns. Oh, the guns. Yeah. You know, the, the gun guns. show. The gun show. <laughs> Do you even lift? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, this was the best of 2015. That, that was good. That was pretty good. Oh, this is not cool by myself. That was, that was pretty good. <laughs> where's my, where's my that's not action approved. Sorry. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> 
But other than that, that's that's pretty much what I had. I did like Rise of the Tomb Raider. Not uh, it's a runner-up. It's a good game. Oh really? Okay. I played it. All right. So um. All right. So uh, let's let's get on to the next big piece, and I do have I do have two people to thank before we go to uh, go into this next section. I'll introduce the next section and also give oh. give my thanks uh, thanks out to two fo uh, two people. So so uh, two games came out in the last couple months, and uh, they are probably the biggest music game releases to have come out on uh, PS4 and Xbox One. They are Rock Band 4 and Guitar Hero Live, and uh, we, uh, we'll be doing a quick uh, shootout discussion on both games. And uh, before I proceed with uh, talking about the uh, talking about both games, I do have two people to thank. Uh, uh, Nicole from uh, one of, uh, from uh, GameStop in Plano, she really helped me out with um, uh, securing a copy of Guitar Hero Live. Um, she she's the um, and she's one of the most helpful people in um, in the Plano area uh, with regards to the game stops in the area, and she really really helped me out on on uh, securing my copy of Guitar Hero Live with the two co guitar controllers because those were just disappearing left and right as Christmas presents. So for her helping me out, huge huge thank you, and I can't I can't even express how um how grateful i am for you to help me out my second thank you is to mr dark of dreadcentral.com he uh he's a local friend of mine um he writes for dreadcentral.com uh, which uh does reviews on horror movies and i believe also some of the local horror um horror theme park attractions around the, the dallas fort worth area uh, he was grateful enough to let me borrow his um, Rock Band 4 guitar controller because I didn't have a second one, and I can't thank him enough because um, uh, likely after the show we're probably gonna rock out on Rock Band and it's gonna get it's gonna get really crazy, guys, for real. So thanks to those two wonderful people, I I have nothing but thank you uh, for just helping our show out. It means a ton to me. So um. Rock Band 4, if, if y'all haven't paid attention, um, it's, um, it's uh, much of the same, though um, it's, it's actually easy, compatible with the uh, previous game's controllers and everything, and it still has the same uh, Rock Band style DLC store, so if you want songs you can buy them kind of like iTunes, like just pick a song and you own it, you own it forever and everything. So, kind of the same old, same old, but Guitar Hero Live actually brings some new stuff to the table. <clears throat> so, Guitar Hero Live, um, it has a new six-button controller to replicate actually playing on the guitar. And, um, the, and, the main, and the main mode where you can kind of play any song that you want, it actually is kind of like MTV where just, um, it rotates, uh, rotates through songs on channels. And then the entire song catalog on the Guitar Hero Live uh, catalog rotates out kind of like Spotify, so whichever artist that they can get a partnership or a deal on, <laughs> then they'll feature their song in the catalog. Frankly, I feel like it's probably one of, uh, if not the like defining strongest selling point of Guitar Hero Live, is it has a very very generous library of songs. Yeah, and they're always coming and going. That's very neat. Yeah, oh and I mean, God. I know some people are upset oh at the fact that you can't own songs in Guitar Hero Live, but I mean, I can definitely get behind um, the reason why they're kind of doing the thing that they're doing. Expensive. Because, yeah, I mean, all the Rock Band songs, it's really expensive to get in on them, especially well, if you didn't play previously. And it's not just, like, expensive for us, it's expensive for them, <laughs> as a developer. Yeah. I'm sure the licensing is much cheaper when it's something, like, uh, cycled out. Yeah, so... Um, Library-wise, I mean, it's um, it kind of it kind of um, depends on on what you're into and everything. If you like discovering new music to either play or listen to or both, Guitar Hero Live is absolutely mm -hmm. wonderful with the Spotify rotating -ing, um, list. I can't say that about the Guitar Hero Live RPG campaign because um, the music's kind of kind of hipsterish, and even even all the concert venues are kind of covered in hipsters as well, too, so didn't really care too much on the live stuff. I'll probably still play it just to unlock the songs anyways, but, I mean, that's probably as much time as I'll put into that mode. Uh, and with Rock Band, the story mode's kind of cute. Uh, you, pl uh, you play a band that kind of goes on tour, and you can choose either the high road, which is, you know, tons of money, tons of fame, you get total hookups from uh, big name costume designers, people with lots of money, 
Mm-hmm. Or you can go kind of the grassroots right, uh, grassroots straights of, you know, you support your fans. You're, you're actually going to, um, instead of staying in fancy hotels, you actually stay with your fans on their couch and things like that. But um, in, um, in, in an ironic twist, something bad always happens to your band no matter what you choose. So, kind of oh, cute. Yes. Kind of, kind of cute because um, uh, one of uh, one of the situations I had was uh, my band uh, did a tour where they um, where they couch surfed on on the fans' couches, but they stayed at one person's house that had that had um, birds with lice. Oh no! So oh, all of my band members had to shave their heads for their final concert oh. on the venue. Wasn't that? Isn't that how it is, though? Isn't that how how it goes? Oh, you know, man. the story of sex, drugs, rock and roll, and something always goes wrong at the end. Yes. <laughs> Very, uh, well, oh, what's dear. the, what am I going to, like, lo- oh, fear and loathing oh. kind of thing. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, I thought, I thought, um, the story mode in, oh, in, um, the bad, the bad, in, the bad, the bad, um, the Gonzo, yeah. is that the word, I think? Yeah. <laughs> um, in, I thought the story, uh, the story mode in Rock Band was kind of cute, so. Um, uh, a good on harmonics for making a really cute story mode. Oh god, I'm not good at these games. I was Ooh. gonna say, concentrate on picking those small ones off first. <laughs> so, um, um, uh, where, um, what else is there? So, right. controller-wise, that's that's where things get interesting. So, yes. um, uh, Rock Band, obviously, if you have the old controllers, you can still use them. Um, on Xbox One, you just have to buy a $25 adapter, or you can buy the kit that includes it. But uh, the weird thing is the box says it only supports four instruments. I don't know if that means wired and wireless or just uh, just uh, just four instruments period because if so, that would totally suck if um, if you had if you had three USB microphones that you wanted to plug up and they were previous ones or something. Well classically it was just four instruments, right? Yeah mm-hmm. So um, it, it's it's kind of interesting the and then, and then the fact that you can buy replacement instruments is kind of cool, or if you need to buy additional instruments, it's kind of neat. Uh, whereas Guitar Hero Live, uh, you can only buy the instrument with the game at this at this time. So it's either you buy the one guitar pack or the two guitar pack. That's pretty much the only way to get it. Um, previous Guitar Hero instruments do not work because the new six button layout yeah. that they're doing. So. So pretty much, um, uh, if you invested a lot of money into the Guitar Hero, Hero instruments, unfortunately you won't be able to use those. So, so um, for those who pre- have previous history with um, Guitar uh, um, or Rock Band, it's probably going to be better value for your money. Uh, granted, uh, the only limitation is, at least for the PlayStation 4 side, with the instruments, you have to make sure you have the matching USB dongle. If you don't, then obviously your PS4 is not going to recognize the guitar controller. It's just surprising that Guitar Hero was the one to switch over to the new system because I remember playing Guitar Hero with the, you know the colored buttons in arcade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kind of that was kind of their thing. Yeah, exactly. They started it. Yeah. Well, I'm going to be fitting then that they reinvent, you know, yeah. to try oh. to be more. I think maybe get. I think they're trying to be a little more what like uh, real since it's live. Uh-huh. I mean, maybe not quite to the degree of Rocksmith, but yeah, you know. Okay. So and that I'm no expert. that that leads us to the to the next part, the song library. Yeah. So Rock Band, a whopping, uh, a whopping um, uh, one thousand nine hundred plus songs are available in in the PlayStation Store and Xbox Live stores. But. And there's a but. Yeah. There's yeah. a big but. Somewhat obscure, in my opinion. Uh, it's song choices. not just that. They're they're very 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 expensive. Yeah. If you want to buy them all. Yeah, I mean, um, at, at they they are two bucks a song. So, obviously, if you were like me and just bought into the rock band stuff, yeah, it's going to be very expensive to catch up where other people who have paid hundreds and hundreds of dollars into Rock Band 3. All they have to do is pay a $15 license and then they can import all of their Rock Band 3 stuff in. It's rough, yeah. So, um, unfortunately for me, I do not have that luxury. So for me, I'm stuck having to build my catalog from the ground up. Fire. So, and and critically, the, uh, the on-disc, uh, the on-disc uh, soundtrack did get some flack because um they chose they chose some ob- obscure songs and then they also oh, chose yeah, some yeah, yeah, yeah. some of the lesser known hits of big uh, bigger name acts. I feel so. like they did it, they it's skeezy because they purposely did it to bait you into buying more. Yeah. I recognize this band but not this song. So. Yeah, and then you're like, oh well, I want to play. Yeah. 
Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, I, I can totally get why um, some fans would be upset going, hey, you know, um, uh, my friend had this song, do you? And, of course, going, well, no, I don't because I just got into Rock Band just now. So there's that. So definitely a disadvantage if you just got in. Yeah, I was going to say, coming in from nothing, I feel like Guitar Hero is probably the better value. Yeah. Um, so if you don't have a lot to spend. So Guitar Hero, um, uh, as mentioned before, it kind of takes a different model. So the Guitar Hero Live campaign that uh, kind of has its own little eclectic mix of songs and things like that. Um, that it really doesn't doesn't have too much going on for it. Now, when you go into the GHTV, which is kind of like their riff on MTV, you have you have two channels that that will play different songs. And like, um, like channel one might be, and might concentrate on rock tunes and stuff like that, rock tunes and metal. So you'll yeah, you might log in and go, ooh, channel one's got oh okay rock tunes, cool. And then channel two might be pop and country. So it might be oh it's country hour on channel two. So you decide which one you want to play, and then you log in, and then from there, you're playing kind of a active and passive multiplayer thing going on because you'll have a leaderboard on the left hand side. And then as you play, um, if your points keep going up, then of course you're going to start smashing other people's records. So do you get any reward for coming in first place or anything like that? Um, extra, extra, um, uh, extra Guitar Hero coins. Okay. And I'll get to that in a bit too. So um, in addition to the channels, there also, uh, there's also a um, there's also a music um, a music library of sorts where you can kind of pick songs to play, but there is a limitation. You can either pay um, at pay a one play uh, one play pass, which lets you pick any song of your choosing and just play that song, or um, you or you can um, you can buy what's called a party pass, which gives you twenty four uh, twenty four hour access to the entire Guitar Hero Live catalog and uh, being able to play whatever you want for as many times as you want, and so on and so forth. So if you're restricted to offline play for Guitar Hero Live, would you have, what, 20 songs maybe to play? You would only be able to access the, the Guitar Hero Live campaign songs. That's okay. rough. So yeah, if your internet connection is cut off, then you have no access to GHTV. You'd be limited to just the songs that are available in the, in the uh, GH Live mode. I won't lie to you, uh, and I because I've seen a lot of negative feedback on both from Twitter. It is it is a rough time to have to be a long time fan of both franchises or either franchise. Yeah. Apparently, uh, on launch, get Rock Band Four had a ton of technical problems with the uh, instruments talking to the consoles. Yeah, they even had to have a firmware update for all the instruments too. Wow. And then on top of that, um, there were problems with the song catalog stuff. Because um, uh, they were like, oh yeah, you know these these block of songs will be compatible with Guitar Hero or um, Rock Band Four, and then of course a bunch of Party. angry previous Rock Band uh, fans going, yeah, you said the song be compatible. Guess what? It's not. So so that's that's a problem. And then of course um, harmonics, they're having to scramble like crazy just to get the songs compatible and everything. Yeah. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my God, Chaco. So ultimately, which one do you like better, Mom? Um. As far as as far as stuff, I'm a little torn on both. Okay. Um, because I like discovering new music. I, that much, that much, that much I won't deny. I love discovering new music. Uh -huh. It's really fun, especially um, playing GHTV and just kind of strumming through along with stuff. Because mm -hmm. the first song I played was um, ZZ Top's um, "I Got to Get Paid," which was kind of fun playing it on regular with all the really complex guitar licks and stuff like that. Yeah. That was really fun, and it was a nice opener for me. I was just like, ooh, this this could be kind of fun. Mm -hmm. And so there's that. But um, I, do see, I do see the sentiment of, of um, being able to play, uh, play the songs you want to play and not having to be restricted to just what's on a rotating catalog. And the options of more instruments on Rock Band. Yeah. So um, honestly, library ways, I'm torn on both. Okay. Oh no! This but um, I know. Personally, I thought um, Guitar Hero's library was just ten times that of Rock Band. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like I knew four out of every five songs. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know. I literally knew I one knew, song in Rock Band. I knew one. both. Yeah. I knew both of the libraries pretty well. 
But I will say Guitar Hero had a lot stronger library. Yeah, I would definitely agree. Yeah, on that. but, and well, that's and they had big hits too. Yeah, and that's and as said, that's that's what the current rotation. I don't know when or how often the the libraries rotate, mm -hmm. so I don't know what the next rotation may look like. The next rotation, it could be, it could be, it could be the exact same situation as Rock Band Four, where it's just like, okay, you got a bunch of big name acts, but I don't know any of these songs by heart. And plus, you said it goes by genre, right? So what if you don't like the genre? Well, no, that's that's the channels. Oh, okay. So I mean, the channels they're they're just like MTV. So like you'll have. You'll have like, um, let's say six o'clock to seven o'clock. It might be a um, uh, classic rock tune, so they'll just play classic rock like Queen and stuff like that for the entire hour. Mm -hmm. And then the next hour might be metal songs, so it might be stuff like like um, uh, uh, Deliver Us from In Flames from Sweden. Mm -hmm. So you might be playing that and every everything under the metal spectrum for that hour. Or like if you pop, uh, switch over to channel two, that's got like pop tunes and country tunes. You might be playing stuff like Carrie Underwood right. and stuff uh, um, stuff that's similar to her style for an entire hour or something like that. Did you we do that? All of that? All of everything you just said? <laughs> <laughs> Did we end up getting the mic working on Guitar Hero? Well, well, um, that's that's the thing. Um, I'm going to have to get a powered USB hub. Because um, I actually had this issue um, when I was um, when I was playing the game with Evan uh, with my uh, with my significant significant other Evan Gray. If you have if you have a, um, a standard uh, USB splitter plugged into the port of the front port of the PS uh, PS4, the adapter and the microphone, the microphone just draws way too much voltage that the second the second guitar adapter just won't read. So for me, I have to I have to go buy a USB hub that actually has to plug into a power port. Okay. So I mean, granted, I have one for my desk to be used uh, to be used with my gaming laptop, but that means I have to undo all the wires just to plug that thing up to my PS4 and make sure that both the microphone and the second guitar adapter get enough voltage. And it is the uh, Rock Band microphone that you're using. Yeah, and that's and that's another thing um, with with Guitar Hero. There is no there is no lockout on what uh, what microphone. Use as long as it's a USB microphone, That's cool. and like you mentioned, I am using the Rock Band 4 microphone, so it's kind of funny yeah. if, um, that I'm using a Rock Band microphone for Guitar Hero. Oh, that oh, and um, extra and extra extra microphones are like 20 bucks. Okay. That's so, so, and and on top of the instrument discussion, um, uh, like you'd mentioned, um, Rock Band 4 does support up to six players, oh. so three vocalists. A guitar player, a drummer, and a bass player. But you couldn't have like four guitar players and two vocalists. Unfortunately, no. Can we mute for that? Yeah, yeah. Hold on, uh, hold on, folks. We're gonna mute this out. Okay, so um, uh, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and. Um, uh, just uh, go through some uh, uh, two friendly opinions that I had from some folks who who aren't quite as insane core gamers as as, as a lot of us are. Mm -hmm. So uh, the first opinion, uh, the first set of opinions I got was from my z significant other, Evan Gray. She's she's not much of an instrument player. She likes vocals. Um, her vote is definitely for Rock Band 4 because of the fact that you can just pick whatever you want in the library. You're not at the mercy of the Guitar Hero live rotations. Uh -huh. And the fact that she could buy whatever song she wanted, she was happy about that. And she recognizes a lot of the songs that she wants to play in the Rock Band 4 catalog. And um, she actually I went and bought up a, a bunch of songs from the library because of the fact that she was like, I know these songs, and just kind of went on a buying spree. So that was her vote. Um, our friend... Our friend Mr. Dark from uh, Dread Central, he's actually um, he actually used to play bass guitar for a band that he was with for a good while. Um, right now, Guitar Hero Live is fitting his needs because he just likes being able to play through and feel like he's actually playing a real guitar because because of how, how the six button setup works, it feels like he's hitting all the chords and everything like that. And he loves the the fact that late night that they do metal hours. During during the wee hours of the night, so I think they start around eleven o'clock in the evening, and he'll just play metal tunes just throughout the entire night, and he he's absolutely a fan of it. So, uh, but he he did he did make a concession for Rock Band for, if you want to play and feel like a rock star, 
it is all about guitar or um, Rock Band 4 because of the freestyle parts, or you can just go completely crazy and just make up your own stuff and just and just make it sound awesome. And it feels like air guitar where you feel super awesome too. So there's that. Wild stallion. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, Aki, you said your vote's likely with Guitar Hero Live. Uh, I honestly, I feel like it's the better value. I like Rock Band more, but it is hard to justify the cost. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. If you have the money, though, I mean... By all means, yeah. 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 Uh, J-Revs, your your thoughts on both games? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna go with uh, Guitar Hero Live. I mean, yeah, Guitar Hero Live. It's, uh, just... Although the playlist does rotate, I just found more songs I actually recognize. Which is super important if you're a vocalist, <laughs> needless to say. Absolutely. And uh, it's just more fun to rock out to a song that you know instead you of... Fe- you're going to be feeling it. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Glasses, what about you, man? <sighs> Although Rock Band is a lot easier to play, because it's the old school... Old school, you know, five, five buttons. buttons. Yeah. Five buttons. Ah. I will say, due to the better playlist, that <laughs> Guitar Hero has, I'm going to have to give it to Guitar Hero. Yeah. yeah. Just dollars to song. Yeah, yeah. I mean, as, um, hopefully hopefully, Activision and Freestyle Games don't don't end up rotating to a set list that is very poor. Then, yeah, I mean, I could I could definitely see the value in Guitar Hero Live. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> is Chaco yours, your thoughts? Pause. <laughs> My thoughts. <laughs> you, you might want to hand that to um, Action Glasses there so he can shoot some stuff for you. Yeah, don't kill me. Um, Rockman 4, yeah, it needs more songs. Um, selections, instead of having to buy the song selections that you it's like. Rough. It is rough. I don't like it. Um, I do like the options of Five Fingers, you know, like they always have, and then you have the options of like the higher keys up here. Yeah. <laughs> Like, it makes you feel like you're really playing guitar. Yeah. <laughs> right? And then Guitar Hero, playing with the six buttons that are over here, I actually feel like I was playing my bass, so it was kind of neat. <laughs> but it took a moment while playing because you have, like, black and then you have white, and then you're just kind of like, what the heck am I doing? Your fingers are just contorting, and it looks, it's kind of weird at first, but then once you get used to it, and it's actually overall pretty good. And I like the game selection that they have in it. Um, or not the game section, the song selection. I also went to the game. <laughs> uh, the song selections are, are good on there, and I really enjoy playing it. Yeah. So, votes it's, probably going with Guitar Hero then? I'm probably going to say Guitar Hero. Okay. It's kind of odd, even though I yeah, like I Rock Band. I thought going into this show I'd say Rock Band, but the more I thought about it. Yeah, so. even though I really enjoy Rock Band, because I enjoy you know, jumping from the guitars to playing the drums, the vocals, it just gives a big variety. But when you really break it down from the newest one, I thought the songs like Rock Band 4, I just wish there was more song selections. Yeah, and I assume it's probably because of the licensing. That's why like the stock, uh, the stock 60 songs on Rock Band 4 um, were the songs that they were. And and unfortunately, it didn't help with the thirty with the thirty song DLC pass that I got with my kit too. So, mm-hmm. so there's that too. But um, looks like uh, looks like the majority of our show is going to vote in favor of um, Guitar Hero Live. I know I'm kind of fifty fifty on both, but that's that's my take on it. So, um, again, uh, that's um, I think uh, the show will be will be going with Guitar Hero Live mostly because just. The library situation is is the big kicker for rock right, bands. It's hard to argue with that, you know. Yeah, I mean, especially because um, you don't have to worry about songs. The twenty four hour play pass is like five bucks. So if you really wanted to go through the entire um, uh, Guitar Hero live catalog, you can just spend a day and pay five bucks and just do that. Yeah, have a party night instead of spending, you know, hundred bucks. Yeah. Every yeah. Song, you know? Definitely. Yeah. So. We can't do a drinking game either. Yeah. But those are illegal. <laughs> they are legal. We're all. I guess you board. can't drink. Oh, uh, too bad. All about four. Okay. <laughs> so, um, I have no idea. All right. So, um, uh, on on that bombshell, I think it's time to call it the end of 2015 for our show. Yeah. So, again, if you've been with us ever since July, thank you again for supporting us. You guys friggin' rock. <laughs> And we definitely appreciate you all supporting us here. Uh, means a ton. Uh, closing out, um, I am 0XR. 
the only Aki. Oh, Chocolo was so... <laughs> Chocolo. <laughs> Chocolo. Chocolo Wasabi Love. <laughs> Action glasses. And our special guest... J-Rose. Thanks for having me, Zero. Yep. Um, uh, saying goodbye for 2015 and looking forward to seeing you guys uh, on the first um, full week of January of 2016. We are signing off, and we'll see you all next year. Yes. Um, have a Merry Christmas. Hope you enjoyed me. Or whatever. Uh, or whatever. Holidays, you know. Yeah, whichever. Damn. And Happy also, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Christmas, Yuletide. Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. Um, uh, also, um, have a safe New Year, guys. If you um, uh, if you're still around, and uh, we will see you all uh, on the first full week of. January and also press uh, press FR says ooh I want to try that 24 hour uh, pass for a party yeah just let me know just send me a message on Facebook and we'll talk but for now we're signing off and we'll see y'all next year happy happy happy, happy new year happy new yeah. year <laughs> <laughs> I speak English <laughs> English do you understand the word English do you speak it <laughs> English, I English.